Hi everyone, today I want to talk about burnout. If you're a tech manager, it's very possible that you're feeling burnt out or extremely stressed right now. And I know you want to be strong and you want to power through it. Here's the thing, your burnout is causing suffering for other people. I want you to really let this wake up call resonate. Stay tuned. Hey there, tech manager, it's Jen Bunk here. I am co-CEO of The People Stack, and our mission is to help tech managers like you to build your dream careers, to command premium salaries of at least 200K a year or more, and to do that while you are thriving, to do that while you have balance, and to do that while you make your dreams a reality. And there is no way that you can do that. There is no way that you can create that. Take the actions that are necessary in order to build your dream career, to build your dream team, to earn that premium salary. There's no way that you can do that if you're burnt out. There's actually no way that you can do that even if you're feeling just a little bit of stress because stress and at its extreme burnout takes such a toll on us, not just psychologically, also emotionally, spiritually, and physically as well. It takes a toll on every single aspect of our lives. So if you've been struggling for weeks, months, or even years trying to get that pay raise, trying to get that promotion, trying to land that hell yes job, struggling on the job market, and you're wondering why, it just may be because of stress, because of burnout. And I know that a lot of you want to be strong. Like, you know, I can take it. It's okay. I can sleep five hours a night. I can deal with it. You know, I do get headaches every once in a while, but it's really not that bad. You know, I'm, I'm really, really able to cope with this. I can do it. I need to be strong for me. I need to be strong for my family. I need to be strong. I need to be the provider for my family. And the wake up call that I want to send to you is that I know you're strong. I know you want to provide for your family, for your loved ones. I know that you want to build a legacy. And I know you wanna be there for them. You're not going to be able to be there for them if you're feeling stress and if you're feeling burnt out. You are causing their suffering. So I want to ask you a question and I really want you to get to the heart of this. Who else is suffering because of your burnout? And I want you to really answer that question for yourself. For some of you, it's your spouse or your kids because you're not showing up as the best version of you. I'm not saying that you have to show up as the best version of you 100% of the time, but if you're not showing up as the best version of you most of the time, you're not there as the dad, as the mom, as the husband, as the wife, as, and for some of you, it's other family, brothers, sisters, moms, dads, who you need to take care of because their health is not doing very well. And so who's going to take care of them if you're constantly burnt out and on the verge of having to call 911 because of chest pains? Who's going to take care of them if you faint suddenly? because you just, your body is just like, I'm done. And then your doctor ends up telling you that it's stress and you need to take a vacation. And your response is, I can't take a vacation. I'm too overworked right now. We don't want you in this situation at all. We don't want you in this situation at all. So I really want you to consider what is at stake here. It's not just you and your health, although that's important. We want you to put your oxygen mask on first. We also don't want other people suffering because of what you're going through. Your husband or your wife, they love you. They love you to death, but they are sick and tired of dealing with zombie you. Your kids love you but they are sick and tired of you constantly saying, no, I don't have the energy to play right now. 
your mom, your dad, they love you, but they are honestly really worried that they're not going to be there, that you're not going to, that they're not going to be here, and then that you're not going to be here to take care of them if and when their health declines. So it's time for you to make a decision to deal with your burnout now, right now. So we don't want you to be feeling burnout. I know you don't want to be feeling so burnt out either. And so you may be thinking, okay, so what do you want me to do, right? And it's like, stop it, right? Stop feeling burnout, like stop feeling burnt out and be awesome instead. Like that's essentially what it is that needs to happen. But if you think about, about it that way, you're really only fighting against the burnout. You're only, you're fighting against something and you're, and you're fighting a losing battle there because you are going to be fighting it from a place where you're not powerful. And so what we want you to do is to be able to rid yourself of that burnout, of that stress while keeping your power, while keeping your inner power. And so the shift that I invite you to make here, because you know what's at stake, and I know that you're committed to not being so burnt out, so that you can finally be there for your family, so that you can finally be there for your team, so that you can finally create the legacy and earn the money that you know that you're capable of making and do all of the things that you know that you would have energy for if you weren't so freaking burnt out and lacking of energy all the time. So I know you're committed to it. Here's the shift I invite you to make. So I really want you to write this one down. This is the key. This is the key. Repel burnout. Become a burnout repeller. Become a stress repeller. That's the goal here. It's not about go away burnout, fighting the burnout. You get to become someone for which when, when, when stress happens, when stressful things happen in your life, when you experience stressful thoughts, those are still going to happen. Stressors exist. We don't have control over that. You're still going to have stressful thoughts. There are still going to be stresses in your environment. People are still gonna say stuff that effing pisses you off, but you are no longer a match for it. It no longer makes you suffer. Because right now you're suffering because you are inadvertently attracting stress into your life. So that's why we want you to repel stress, become someone different, become a person who repels stress. This is the high level idea. Essentially what you need to do, what you get to do. But it's gonna be very, very individual depending on your experience. So you need to work with an expert who is not only an expert in helping you achieve the outcome that you want to achieve, but is also an expert in helping you to make the shifts the mindset shifts, the perspective shifts, the identity shifts that are necessary in order for you to get to that next level. Because if you try to get to that next level right now, it's not going to be sustainable. You're bringing the same ideas and the same perspective and the same beliefs and the same actions with you. And I promise you, you're gonna end up in a hospital bed if you try to be a CEO or a CTO or a VP from the place where you're at right now if you're burnt out. So there's, there are, there, there's a custom tailored shift that you need to make in order to repel burnout. For some people, it's about I'm worth it. I am worth putting my oxygen mask on first. And that's the shift that you get to make. For other people, it's about really realizing that it can be easy. Let it be easy. There do not need to be so many hurdles on the way to leveling up in your career. The hurdles are self-created. Let go of them. And so you need an expert to help guide you through whatever shifts you get to make so that you can become a burnout repeller. That's what we do with our clients because we're not only experts in helping tech managers to upgrade their careers and earn premium salaries, 
like as part of that, we're also experts in helping our clients make the shifts that are necessary in order to get there. So become, become a new version of you. Become a repeller of stress and burnout and become an attractor of joy and gratitude and freedom and fun. That's what we want for you. I want to share Sarah's story with you. So Sarah is one of our clients. We've been working with her for a number of years and she went from burnt out, burnt as toast as she describes it, to thriving and landed her dream job. It's the perfect job for her, the perfect intersection of different industries for her. And she is so thriving, has so many more tools available to her right now um, in order to not just cope with stress, but to do what I was talking about, to repel stress, to repel overwhelm and to attract freedom and joy and flow and engagement. It doesn't mean, by the way, that bad stuff doesn't happen. Life still happens. <laughs> we still have the challenges that are presented to us as gifts so that we can continue to thrive. And this is a part of what Sarah's journey has been and it's part of what it's part of what a lot of our clients' journey has been. So when Sarah started working with us, well actually before she started working with us, she she described it to us as she she had this aha moment that was just huge, okay, I need to do something about this. She was working in a job that just wasn't a fit for her. She was so frustrated with the people who she was working with and it didn't align with what she really wanted to do. She started her career actually in the music industry and then found tech and product management after that. And so she made quite the shift from working in the music industry <laughs> to working as a product manager, as a product owner. And it was just too much for her, especially because she was feeling completely overwhelmed almost every single day. But she's strong. I know a lot of you that are listening right now is like, I'm strong, I can deal with it, I can take it. And here's the thing, we don't want you to just take it. We want you to soar, we want you to thrive. And so there was a moment for Sarah when she basically collapsed after work, she fainted. She was on her way home from work and she just collapsed. And she had to go to urgent care. And they basically told her, yeah, it's stress. You're too stressed out, you know, take care of yourself. And that was the wake up call that she needed. And I know what Sarah would tell you, and it's what I would tell you, it's what a lot of our clients would tell you, it's probably what a lot of your friends would tell you who have gone through this kind of thing is, I didn't need to let it get that bad. I allowed it to get that bad to the point of fainting and having to check myself into urgent care and have the doctor tell me I need to de-stress but she didn't need to, that all the warning signs were there before that. She didn't feel right. She didn't feel like full of energy. And so she allowed herself to get burnt as toast. She kept herself in that space. But now, as she describes it, it's like, okay, I could feel myself getting a little bit crispy, <laughs> right? It's, it's nice to have fun with it. Um, and to add some lightness to it, right? So I feel myself get a little bit crispy and, then, and I know now it's time for self-care. I know now it's time to dial it back. Part of it though for Sarah was that even with the strategies that we gave her and the mindset shifts that she was able to make with our guidance, she wasn't in the right place for her. She wasn't working in the right in the right environment, it wasn't the perfect fit. So there was still this element of burnout, of stress, of overwhelm. So it wasn't until she actually made the decision, okay, I'm done, I'm done, it's time to go on the job market, I'm not gonna try to make this work anymore, 
that she went on the job market and with our guidance she was able to land an even better position. And she's been working with us, like I said, for a number of years now. And now she's gone through multiple evolutions, multiple births and rebirths of what is the best version of me that repels stress, that laughs at stress and says, ha ha, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I can deal with that in, in a fun way. Um, and like I said, now she's not only making more than she's ever made because she's been able to apply our strategies from a place of being in flow, of feeling authentic, she also just feels like she's in the perfect job for her. Yes, there are challenges, but she loves the people that she works with and she loves the amount of freedom that she has and she loves that she's able to say no. She loves that when they were giving her more responsibility because they thought she wanted it, because she's strong, like a lot of you, right? A lot of, a lot of us don't realize how strong we are and how strong we're perceived to be. So people just keep throwing stuff our way. And she learned to say no. She learned to create those permeable boundaries to say, actually, I don't want that to be my responsibility. And so now, she's in a place where she's going to continue thriving and this is what's available to you as well your story won't sound exactly like sarah's or any of our other clients you will have your own unique journey but when you lift the weight of feeling overwhelmed of feeling stressed and instead shift it to a home an emotional home a psychological home a spiritual home of going back to a place of peace and serenity and joy and gratitude and balance and acceptance and hope and knowing that you got this, then really you do got this. And so I've talked about a lot uh, about stress and burnout and I really do hope that some of it, if not all of it, has resonated with you. And I know that you probably have more questions right now because with clarity comes, oh, I didn't realize this. And what about this? And what about that? And here's my situation. Here's my context. And you have questions about how to apply these overarching principles, these overarching strategies in your career, in your work life, where, you, where you're at right now. So... For some of you, you're gonna watch this and you're gonna maybe take a couple of notes and that's, that's all you need right now because you're still contemplating change, but you're not ready for it. And that's cool. For some of you, you are at the point of decision and you just don't know what's next. And so I wanna make it really easy for you because that decision point can feel very overwhelming and you're already overwhelmed. I don't want it to feel even more overwhelming for you right now. So we make it really simple. If you are serious about ending work overwhelm once and for, for all, and finally saying goodbye to feeling overworked, underpaid and underrecognized, I want you to book a call with my team right now. Thepeoplestack.com slash book thepeoplestack.com slash book slash B-O-O-K. It's gonna bring you to their calendar, pick a time that works for you. The Zoom link, you'll get the calendar invite, you'll get the Zoom link, it's gonna be a Zoom call, an audio only Zoom call. And what you're gonna talk about on that call is what's not working in your career at work right now. And you're also gonna talk about where you wanna go. And if we can help you get there, we're gonna tell you. We're gonna show you how. If we can't, or if for whatever reason it isn't gonna be a fit, and we're still going to share valuable resources for, with you, for you. So it's win-win. It's win-win-win. It's win-win-win-win. Because like I said, yes, it's a win for you. Yes, it's a win for us because we get to share the honor and joy of seeing you succeed. But it's also a win for all the other people in your life right now. So maybe you're at the point where you can't do this for yourself yet. Where it doesn't feel right to just do this for you. I want you to get there. I want you to get to the place of self-love and self-appreciation, self-care, where you want to do this for yourself. And I also want you to do it for others as well. Do it for your spouse, do it for your kids, do it for your family, for your friends, for your colleagues who want the whole you, every bit of you. 
and every bit of you has not been showing up because you're overwhelmed, because you're stressed, because you're not in flow. So if that's what you want, if you want to be in flow so you can be there 100%, the whole you, you want to bring the whole you to work, I want you to book a call with my team right now, thepeoplestack.com slash book. I know you're looking for certainty. I know you're wondering if it's, if it's going to work for you. And really, we don't know. <laughs> can, can you make the same transformation as Sarah did? I'm not sure right now. And the only way to find out is if, it, if it's gonna be a fit to work together is to book that call. The certainty comes after the decision. The certainty comes from action. And you don't need to think about it anymore what your next step in your career is. Your next step is to book a call with us, thepeoplesnack.com slash book. We look forward to talking with you really, really soon. Aloha from Hawaii, my friends. Take care and big hugs.